In this video, we talk about modern versus contemporary design styles. We also talk about transitional versus traditional. That's starting right now. Welcome to Home Buyer School, brought to you by Brookfield Residential. Hi everyone, I'm Carl Ye, and welcome to another Home Buyer School video, a channel where you get the latest strategies, tactics, and tips from home buying experts. And remember, if this is your first time on this channel and you wanna get the latest strategies from the experts, hit the subscription button below, hit the little notification bell so you don't miss anything. So today I'm joined by Deborah Armstrong, Senior Interior Designer with Brookfield Residential. And today we're gonna to do a little bit of, I guess, classroom activity, not that this is home buyer school, <laughs> but, but the question we wanna answer is, what is the difference between modern versus contemporary interior design? Okay, so modern is a time period. Yeah. Uh, typically known as mid-century modern. It's um, any design that's you know you could see in the 50s and the 60s. Okay. okay. Contemporary is ever-changing. Whereas the modern you can't change it. It's always you know the 50s and 60s you know okay. look. So what does the what does that mean like 50s and 60s design? Can you give a couple examples of that? Yeah um, in the 50s and 60s if you look back I mean I, I remember those days um, <laughs> but uh, they're you know very clean lines. Okay. Everything's very very clean. The furniture was raised you know off the floor. Okay. No, no skirts okay. on, on sofas. A lot of wood, uh, teak. Mm -hmm. Would hardwood floors be an example of? Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They were the narrower boards. Yeah. They were site finished. But yeah. yes, definitely hardwood floors, area carpets. Yeah. And then the type of furniture. What, what what kind of? How would you define modern type of furniture? Again, very very uh, straight. Uh, clean lines. Okay. Uh, there was uh, molded furniture, whether it be wood or plastic, that yeah. we saw back in those days. Yeah. Accessories were very clean lined as well, not fussy at all. Okay. And would w and what is the difference between that and contemporary interior design? So contemporary is uh, ever changing. It is what is current today. Mm -hmm. So five years ago, what was contemporary then is not contemporary today. Yeah. So, so, like you said, it was ever changing. So let's go back to modern. So what, what is in a modern home? And I think you talked about that, but like what type of materials did they use? A, a lot of wood, yeah. um, metals, yeah. uh, a lot of chrome, yeah. uh, glass. Leather? Leather, yeah. Leather, leather was very, very popular um, back, back then too. And, and even plastic, like yeah. to look like leather. Yeah. yeah. And so there's another thing that I want to talk about too is um, in uh, traditional versus transitional. So how does traditional and transitional imp um, go together with contemporary versus modern? Well, they don't really, okay. again, because um, modern is a time period set on its own in the 50s and 60s. Mm -hmm. Contemporary is what is current now. Yeah. Um, maybe with transitional, you could mix um, what is current now yeah. with very traditional furniture. So you get a blend of contemporary yeah. and um, traditional, and that's called transitional. So let's talk about traditional. What is first of all? What is traditional? Traditional is uh, usually uh, based on the heirs between in the 18th century and the 19th century. It's quite fussy furniture, elegant, heavy draperies, um, beautiful fabrics. Woodwork was um, very ornate. You know, heavy crown moldings. The furniture itself too mm -hmm. was very heavy and ornate. You had um, certain areas. Uh, particularly the Chippendale, you know, the Sheridan, the Queen Anne furniture okay. are very common in, during that uh, transitional tra when you, tra traditional period. <laughs> so when you say traditional, what, in my mind, that brings about like royalty. I guess, would that be correct? Yeah, it has a, yes, yeah. yeah, you could say that. Very fussy, very okay. elegant. Um, so like something you'd probably see in Buckingham Palace. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> and, and today, so what... Um, uh, I guess in today's interior design world, what is, I guess, popular? Right now, we're seeing a lot of uh, comeback with the modern furniture, known as mid-century, yeah. or some people refer to retro. So again, we're starting to see those uh, really clean lines again, mm -hmm. a, a minimalistic yeah. looks. Yeah. So I guess you could say that modern has become contemporary. Which yes, is very, you could. Okay. You could. And, and yeah. most, I guess most... It, do most home builders now uh, appeal to that like contemporary design, or, or are there like, um, n not that we want to name all any of them, but like, are there anyone any that are very specific to uh, traditional look or transitional look or 
or is it mostly all yeah, contemporary? Yeah, I think so? most of it's contemporary nowadays and, and how people are changing the mm -hmm. look of their home is how they decorate it. Okay. They're, they're putting their stamp on it through, through their decorations and maybe some of their interior selections, yeah. um, whether it be carpet or tile, to work around those. Uh, and design aspects. And does this design actually impact how the house is actually built or no? No, not no, at all. Not at all. I, I, if you're looking for a modern home, mm -hmm. exactly, it will, yes. You will build a home that has the look, much more clean lines, yes. you know, um, for that, that modern feel. Yeah. Clean, very straight, clean lines right. on the outside. And we are seeing that. We are yeah. seeing some builders, not specifically, I mean, yeah. it's the homeowner's, you yeah. know, uh, custom design yeah. that's dictating that. Perfect. Anything else to add in terms of modern contemporary interior design? No, just have fun with it all. They're, they're all great, you know, and uh, everybody likes a little something different. So, perfect. Anything goes nowadays. Thank you very much for joining us, and we'll catch you next time. That's another edition of Home Buyer School. Tune in next time for more expert tips and tricks. And visit homebuyerschool.ca to bring you one step closer to finding your dream home. As with everything, it would be great if you like and share our videos. Also, please let us know if you have any home buying questions you want us to answer.